so this is my face reveal slash thank you all for 10,000 subscribers special video. This video has been a hassle to put together. Here you have it. This is what I look like. Welcome to my 10,000 subscribers special video. Honestly, this video is costed a lot of money. I had to buy a bunch of camera equipment and also I just bought a few other fun things like headphones um, because like my hair, if I'm going to be using webcam, I kind of have to do my hair. Otherwise, you're going to see like Oscar the Grouch as me. Just I'm not a pup. So yeah, I got uh, wireless headphones or wireless earbuds instead of headphones because, well, the band at the top of headphones would squish down my hair. So, and I like to have volume in my hair and uh, that's kind of how my hairstyle is. So yeah, $208 for these. Green screen alone is one seven. But anyways, thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. We are now actually at 12.7 thousand subscribers. That was a really scuffed way of saying that. I, I slurred the whole way. But yeah, we've finally done it, guys. We've we've gotten to uh, we've gotten to a huge milestone that is 10,000 subscribers. So I thank you all for the amazing support. And um, I'm gonna answer questions today, explain some things about my channel, content wise, explain a new upload schedule. Yes, I know for me an upload schedule that sounds insane, but um, I'm gonna actually try to get one. Notice I said try, not get one. In fact, I'll just talk about my new upload schedule now. So from now on, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload videos every other day instead of like all over the place. Like back then I'd upload like twice a week and then some weeks I'd upload daily and then like for a month I'll just go silent. Not for a month, for more like more like a week and a half. I just won't make videos sometimes. That's just because I'm lazy or I'm busy. So yeah, honestly, thank you all for 10,000 subs. Let's get into some questions because I asked you all on my community tab to give me some Q&A questions for my 10,000 subscriber special. And uh, yeah, here we go. I've got to actually pull up my community tab real quick on my computer screen here because I don't have it open because, well, I don't actually know why I don't have it open, but it's somewhere here. All right, and the first question is from Mudman. And Mudman asks, who's your favorite beast? Swarm YouTuber, myself, of course. I'm and his second question is tried mud cakes. If not, you should. I've seen what they look like. Have I tried mud cakes? I've never had a mud cake, no, but they look absolutely delicious. It's like a liquidy chocolate on top of a, uh, a spongy kind of looking cake. Um, and honestly, it looks amazing. I love chocolate. I love chocolate cake. Cake. I love chocolate. Two things go to great. English. The next question is from It A Ant, and It A Ant asks two questions. He, they say, uh, when did you start playing Beast Swarm? I started playing Beast Swarm Simulator around a week after the game released onto Roblox, um, but then I stopped playing. I originally started on an alt account, which is my little secret account where I test games on it before I try making content out of them so I know if they're actually interesting. So that way I can start on a fresh account, like on my main account, I'll have a fresh start so that way you get the whole playthrough and I don't like have like full mid game stuff by the time I start playing and making content out of it. It Ant also asks, what is your favorite bear in B? My favorite bear, honestly, is Gummy Bear, if that actually counts, but Gummy Bear doesn't give you quests. Uh, he does it give you quests during the Gummy Bear event, which was a long time ago. I did complete that one, and that's why my favorite bee is Gummy Bee, by the way, so I'm gonna quickly answer that part as well. But, um, yeah, and Gummy Bear only gives you quests during Beesmas and Gummy Bear event and stuff like that, you know what I mean? The next question is from Techie. Techie asks, what was the rare Rarest loot drop you've ever gotten from a mob. Honestly, the uh, that was a really bad voice crack. But the rarest loot drop that I've ever gotten was either a gifted silver egg or wait no. Oh wait no, I got a gifted diamond egg from Tunnel Bear before I think. Or was that from something else? I'm pretty sure it was from Tunnel Bear. So definitely gifted diamond egg. If not, then a gifted silver egg from Tunnel Bear, which I definitely know I did get. If you had the power to make only one Beast Swarm Simulator update, what would it be? Honestly, it would be making uh, the game a little bit less RNG, even though RNG is like a huge mechanic in the game. There's honestly a bit too much of it sometimes for white hives. It's hard to do a good boost if you do not get good RNG. And honestly, RNG is kind of like the whole point of the game. A lot of people complain about it, so that's probably why I'd change it. So yeah, that's pretty much the only update I'd make. And also I'd add more gummy stuff. That would be epic. Or maybe a better use for tropical drinks, like a tropical mask or like a banana milkshake mask. Their next question is, is Bee Swarm Simulator getting kind of boring to you since you're in Endgame? Honestly, the game is kind of getting a bit repetitive, but honestly, I like boosting because it's genuinely fun and also I can prepare myself for the next update, but at the moment it's kind of stale because there hasn't been an update for almost a year now. I'm not including Beesmas, by the way, but a full-on update. We haven't seen one for a year. Oh No asks, do you pour the cereal or the milk first? 
All right, listen here, listen here. If you pour the milk before the cereal, the milk's gonna go everywhere when you put the cereal in. Unless your hands are so still you could be a surgeon. So you pour the cereal in in the lightest way possible to prevent any splashes. You have to be like so strategic with it. This isn't modern warfare. You don't need to be strategic with your cereal. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. You can pour it in any way you want, except for one way, which is the milk first. That's illegal. Um. But I pour the milk in after the cereal, obviously. Why? These next three questions are from Kim. Do you still have an SSA rolling addiction? No, I do not because I've spent over a good portion of my honey on SSA. If I'm to be completely honest, about one and a half thirds of my entire honey has been spent on SSA. The next question is, what are you planning for this summer? Honestly, really whatever. I just want to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of summer vacation, so you will hit that subscribe button. Third question is, why do you switch to White Hive? I thought Red Hive is better. Uh, well, White Hive I just tend to do a lot better with because, well, I don't know, I just, it's, it's fun. I enjoy it more, so then I play more, and then I boost more, so I get more honey. So yeah, I just do whatever I enjoy doing, you know? Like, I don't care much about leaderboards and stuff like that. I just care about what's fun, what's not fun, and, uh, yeah. And fortunately, White Hive currently is the best hive apart from Red Hive. Red Hive has better stuff overall. Red is probably kind of slightly better due to the, uh, less costly boosting. Um, but White Hive does make you more honey if you get lucky. And that's why I would lower RNG so you don't have to get super lucky to get a good boost. Elias Zerstock asks, do you like cookies? I absolutely love cookies. In fact, the other day, me and my friend, we were talking about cookies and what cookies we liked and didn't like. I prefer probably soft and chewy cookies, like soft, chewy sugar cookies or chocolate chip cookies by far are just amazing. Oh my goodness. But I like sugar cookies better. I I like sugar cookies better, honestly. Miles was taken, asks, do you like Guiding Star? I like Guiding Star a lot because it is very useful for boosting because it pollinates the field, increases your bag capacity, and gets you more pollen, mainly the pollen, and the pollination is what I like about it. The capacity doesn't really matter because I have Star Saw, so yeah. Personally, I wouldn't want it on my own amulet because I'd want Gummy Star and Star Saw because I make more that way, but if we're talking about like Guiding Star in general on like an alt account or a friend's account, yeah, that would be great because then they can help me boost, you know? Will you? play other games. Probably, I'm probably gonna play some Minecraft here and there, random games that you guys want me to play, anything really. I'm a YouTuber, I just do whatever's fun. Gummy Boy asks, can we get a room tour? No, because I'm in my mom's basement. There's not much to really tour around here. You got microphone, mouse, uh, ring lights, green screen chair, me? I don't know. Clouds Fuzzy asks, what is your favorite hive color? My favorite hive color is honestly white hive because the gummy star mechanics with the star saw mechanics go together great and it's so much fun. And they also ask, what's your fastest time to kill the coconut crab? Honestly, my fastest was 16 seconds. I think that's one second away from the leaderboards. I'm pretty sure the leaderboards are 15 seconds at the moment to get on them, not first place. First place is like five seconds now. Ash Mations asks, how fast can you eat spaghetti? If I am to actually speed run it, which I've never tried, I'm gonna give you just a rough estimate. Probably three to five minutes. I'm not sure. Um, next time I eat spaghetti, I'm speed running that for you. Arc Plays says, You are my favorite Bee Swarm Simulator YouTuber with AR. Oh, that's very nice of you. AR is really cool. Honestly, uh, we sometimes talk on Discord about YouTube stuff, and then sometimes we talk about just completely anything, or maybe Bee Swarm updates or something. And the first question is, are you staying white or are you changing? I am staying white hive because, honestly, it's just the most fun. I've never had this much fun in Bee Swarm Simulator because, like, I don't know why. I just like the Gummy Star the way it works, and I like the Star Saw the way that works, and they go together really well. And then the triangulates and the mark tokens are really fun. Like, the marks, the abilities that all the, uh, the white bees have, really cool. All right, so that's about it for today on questions. Now let's talk about some other things, some very important things. So honestly, going from zero to 10,000 subscribers is kind of strange because I never thought I'd really make it this far. I hoped I did, obviously, but I didn't think it would actually work out. It did, so thank you all very much. Um, But some things I want to do with my YouTube channel, I want to make a Bee Swarm video and then the next video, a uh, video on any other game, and then Bee Swarm, and then so on and so forth. So every other day, I will make a video, and every other video will be Bee Swarm Simulator. So like, Bee Swarm, Minecraft, Bee Swarm, Minecraft, Bee Swarm, and then so on, so forth, infinitely, you know? Or, well, maybe not Minecraft all the time, maybe some other random games and stuff like that. Eh, you know what I mean. And honestly, that's about it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all very much for 10,000 subscribers. I love you all. Um, I will see you all in the next video that I make. Bye!